All right, Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, Yahweh, who the world annually calls God, and Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world annually calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside them. I want to give double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And this lesson is going to be entitled, A Prayer for a Heavy Heart. And, um, yeah, man. You know, we all go through it, you know, you always, you know, you have your time when you up and you have your time when you down. And um, we have to appreciate the times when we down, you know, or so-called down, you know, because you never really down. Even Yahweh Shai said, in your weakness, I am made strong, you know. So these are actually times where we supposed to look into the scriptures as our happiness because... You know, this is our comfort of the Holy Spirit. Hey, we, we strive for the Holy Spirit, the Rekakwadash. As the Apostle Gabar had did the lesson the other day, going into the beauty of striving for the Holy Spirit. You know, you want to strive for the Holy Spirit. All right, so without further ado, this is the book of Job, chapter 22. And, um... You know, ways that you can strive for the Holy Spirit is by prayer and reading. You know? And, hey, there's times when you need to fast. As a matter of fact, we just came out of the Day of Atonement. You know? Where we asking the Heavenly Father to forgive us for our iniquities. And, um, you know, as I speak, I just think about how this particular iniquities the Lord could still be working on forgiving you for so this is why you know you may be going through your particular uh si you know certain situations or whatever you know so uh yeah man you pray and in those prayers you also like I always think of Nehemiah as he prayed unto the heavenly father for his request before he even put in his request he forgave he asked for forgiveness for his sins all right, we want to ask forgiveness for our sins, sins of our past lives and sins that we knowingly or unknowingly commit, you know. So this is the book of Job, chapter 22, verse 21. Acquaint now. Well, you know what? This is a, I want to I'm definitely going to grab this, but I want to grab a. Uh, First Kings eight and thirty eight. All right, and this is after the uh, the kingdom, Salakia, the house of the Lord was built. It was finished, right? And you know Israel was there, and he stood up to pray to the heavenly Father in the presence of Israel, and a portion of his prayer to the heavenly Father was um. Where it says right here, 1 Kings 8 and 38. What prayer and supplication soever be made by any man or by all thy people Israel, which shall know every man the plague of his own heart and spread forth his hands toward this house. Okay. So, you know, as we pray, you pray understanding the plague of your own heart. You know, so you know what you need to pray for. You know, so it says, or oh, by all thy people, Israel will shall know every man the plague of his own heart. All right. So in the scriptures say, if any man like anything, pray. So lock it one second. If any man like anything, pray. Well, was that James? If any man like wisdom, let him pray to the heavenly father, which giveth to all men liberally. All right. So if you like wisdom for whatever situation you're going through and because through the spirit, you the spirit will let you know why you're going through the situation, you know, or the Lord just give you the spirit to say, fuck it. You know, I'm just go through what I got to go through and hope that you how about shimmy, how shall I give me the strength to go through it? And I learn, you know, learn if it be his will. All right. So now let's get to Job. What was that? Um, 18. No, it's like it. 22 and 21. 
So it says, acquaint now thyself with him. Again, how do you acquaint yourself with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? All right, you read, you read about his ways. You watch the brother in the Akim and be at peace. All right. So again, once you acquaint yourself with the Heavenly Father, you're now at peace. All right. Proverbs 3 says, says, uh, long life and peace shall this word add unto you. All right. In his world, the scriptures say in his world, you shall have heaviness. And then Yahweh Shai goes on to say, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. So Yahweh Shai, which spirit, you know, which we believe through the spirit was Solomon in the reincarnation. He went through the griefs, you know what I'm saying? The trials and tribulations that we deal with today. So it behooves us to... um. Acquaint ourselves, you know, with with a man, you know, who who has walked the same walk as us. Thereby, good shall come unto thee, and we all hope for good. We all hope for good now, and for the times of Jacob's trouble, when the Lord is going to deal with people for their iniquities. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in thine heart. Okay, and again, this is why I say it's very important to always, it's important to always be in the word, but especially when you're going through the times of trouble and your tribulations. Okay, because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and the strength of salvation. And it's, trust me, you know, there's going to be many thoughts that go to your mind, you know, that if you act on them right away. You're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself, you know. But it's important to get in, you know, just just stay in the word. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in thine heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. Yeah, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. Okay, and this word is known as this 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 word is the real is is that gold and silver at this time of day. You know, if you direct your way towards Him, you shall find wisdom to get you through um your particular situations. You know, whether it be the Spirit have you call a brother. You know what I'm saying? The spirit have you see a billboard. The spirit have a brother do a lesson. And the spirit have you go to YouTube to see that lesson while the brother's live. And you tap into that live stream right when um the brother, you know what I'm saying, was speaking on your situation. Right? That's how it goes. Yeah, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. For then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty. And shall lift up thy face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy and thou shalt pay thy vows. You know? Because at that point you know for sure the Lord is hearing you. You know? You tap into a lesson that's at the very same time the brother's talking about what you're going through. Come on, bro. You know? Or the Lord have you call a brother thinking, you know, the conversation is going to go this way. But then you 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 get some sound advice that puts your mind at ease, you know. And then when you go and talk to the Heavenly Father, you know, it's with more faith, more confidence, knowing that he's hearing you. Okay. And the scriptures say in that same chapter in James, you know, when you pray, you got to pray with faith. All right. I believe that's James, the first chapter. Then thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine unto thy, upon thy ways. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say there is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. You know, in this scripture, man, this scripture in particular has been getting me through my trials and tribulations. You know, 
Um, this weekend, I, you know, I got to hang out with the Akim, and a brother was telling, he was telling us of his, you know, the uh, trial and tribulation he had went through, and how the Lord, you know, uh, brought him some help in that situation. And through that, you know, I just just uh, think about how the Lord is going to bring me hope eventually. You know, hell, hell, you know, and um, you know, continue to meditate upon the help that the Lord has already brought me in my past trials and tribulations, because that's what it's about, man. It's about having faith in your how about shimi how shy, building this, building your faith in your how about shimi how shy. How do you build your faith in something? How do you build your confidence in something? By building your knowledge. You know? How do you build your knowledge in something? By walking with that. You know what I'm saying? And by, by you know, trying it out. Day in and day out. Okay? So, now let's go to the book of Psalms. Which really started, you know, um... Which really gave me the inspiration to do this lesson. So this is Psalms chapter 119. Verse 25. It says, My soul cleaveth unto the dust. Quicken thou me according to thy word. I have declared my ways. And thou heardest me. Teach me thy statutes. Teach me thy ways because, you know, what I'm doing, it ain't working out, you know. Make me to understand the way of thy precepts. So shall I talk of thy wondrous works, you know. And that's why. It's like, and that's the uh, attribute of a man of the Lord. To speak of the wondrous works of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, as the Lord brings him through. My, uh, you know, and that's what it's all about, you know. And, and again, you know, like we, I like to go into a lot. King David really knew how to talk to the Lord, because he knew the Lord. The Lord is a God that loves to be praised. So by him saying, you know, what I'm saying, bring me out of this situation. And I, I will praise you, you know. That's the Lord saying, like, you know what? I bet, you know. That's a win-win situation. All right? The Lord loves to be praised. The Lord loves to be thanked, man. You know? Just us as mortal men, you know, when you do something, hold the door for somebody, they say thank you. That's just, that's, that's very, you know, that's something that you enjoy. How much more the Heavenly Father, man? You know, they gave us breath and life and eyes to see and ears to hear and everything, you know. How much more we owe thank you to him every every single day, every single chance we get, really. You know, remove me, remove far from me the way of lying and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies, O Yahweh, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. Okay? So through the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, through his word, we will be enlarged. Alright? Your heavy heart won't seem so heavy. You know? And, um, you know, I was just thinking of this, uh, I ain't gonna go into it. You know, but let me uh actually I actually took a picture of that Psalms 119 and 25. My soul cleaveth unto the dust, quicken thou me according to thy word. It's a lot here for the handwriting. But I uh I was able through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimi I was shy to write that down in the Hebrew. But as you see, the box. La Ipar, right? Which again, I say, I personally say, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakwadash, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Salak Naya, forgive me, my call from all Kataayim, sins, Wa and Dapalafia, my prayer, Shamai, 
here, I thaw now. Then I go into saying my prayer. So it'll be debak, cleave, la I par to dust, na pasha, my soul. Kaya, kaya naya quicken me, ka the barka. Thy words. Now I believe the ka means according to, you know, and um, you know, I see now in the blue letter it said ka the barka, which I know the bark, the bar's words ka is thy. So I, I want to say that ka, in the beginning, means according to or with, you know, but um, you know, just a quick one going into, uh. You know, for the Akim that's 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 uh you know struggling with the, the plague of the mind. So with that, Shalom to the elect.